Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Ace Combat 7. I'm Nye. I got awarded the medal Mass Destruction. And I got one or more new F-15E Strike Eagle skins. Cool. So that happened immediately after the last mission, by the way. Like, that was immediately it offered that to me. Looks like we got more storyline. Okay. Who is he? Oh, is this the jackass that shot down Golem? That's the jackass. Oh, this dude. I am. Yeah, looking worse. Thank God he has his granddaughters here to help him out. Dude, I'm going to kill you. But of course. Engaging the enemy in combat so we could use his physiological data to improve the drones had always taken a toll on Mihai's body. So now we're getting the storyline. He was really showing his age. Make him a little bit more human, even though I want to kill him for that. Based on his data, we're being taken down at a faster rate now. Compared to when the war began. Yeah, because we're good. When Mihai found that out, he insisted on flying to the front lines to see it for himself. Hmm. And shot down my ally. Sometimes he could be so stubborn. His age wasn't the only thing affecting his health. Over the years, flying at high altitudes for prolonged stretches of time had ravaged and poisoned his body. Are there old pilots? Do they exist? Today, after 28 years... He saw combat again. Been twice a year since he last saw combat? If his flight suit still wasn't good enough to protect him, I can't imagine how many G's he hit today during the battle. You know, shooting down one girl. Pilot, he exceeds all our expectations. It's going to take a bit more tweaking before our drones can match his skill. Don't worry, I'll shoot down his drones and this jackass. Don't tell him about his granddaughters. You ask? This place is a shithole. That does suck. If you took the stink of all the corruption in the world, then corralled it all in one place, it'd be this place. That would give you a pretty good idea of what the air smells like around here. Man, I feel bad for her. All kinds of critters too. Everything critters? Flea-ridden guards, Ugh. rabid dogs, Ew. and mechanic dudes stretch for life. For life? Forget the rats. Yeah, we got those, and some pilots who got their wings. Oh man, too. I want to free her. One's a great pilot, but a lousy thief. One's a gambler with no luck, and one's an anarchist with no balls. Huh. Their job here was to rev the engines on the fake runways. Okay. The idea was for a Rouge's spy satellite to pick up the heat sig. Even though there weren't any real fighters here, it looked like it on their infrared. Oh, okay. I bet you're wondering, if Arugia lost the war, how come they still have a spy satellite? That is a good question. Because someone over there was smart enough to train a bunch of computer nerds to hack into half of Osea's satellites. That, that makes really good sense, actually. Every now and again, I'd try to bust out. And every single time, those damn dogs would drag me right back. So get rid of the dogs. When I That's was the plan. Cell, I'd hear this voice coming from the guards room. Yeah? It was the Erusian princess. Oh, okay. her people on the Erusian national broadcast. All us prisoners had become big fans of hers. All of her propaganda. Yep. You want to hear something funny? The guards were big fans, too. Oh, okay. I swear to God, every time she was on the air, they'd turn up the volume on the radio and sit there listening. I wonder why. I could see how someone like her could win the hearts and minds of soldiers and workers alike. When the princess said something, you could tell she meant every word. Hmm. Lately, she'd been having more fun with her speeches, and that made her seem even more charming. Having fun with your wartime you speeches? Her charm was like a virus. Whenever she'd point out stuff that was wrong with Osea, the prisoners in here went nuts. Shredding Hell, toilet tissue? If anyone knew how messed up Osea was, it was the prisoners. They'd shout, burn Osea down. You know, the people we f fly for. No way am I just going to sit here and rot away in this hellhole. I Dark. am rooting for you. Instead of building fake-ass planes to trick Arusia, I'm going to build one that'll really take off. Again, rooting for you. On that. So it's, it's really interesting that they keep on showing me stories that are specifically anti-me. Like they're the people who hate the people I fly for. We haven't gotten a pro Ogia story yet. As proved by the failure of our previous strategy, the Arsenal birds have bolstered the enemy's anti-air network. With their bullshit shields, yes. Okay. However, we still need to get swiftly to the space elevator no matter what it takes. So how do we shoot that thing down? Someone there is counting on us. 
the hero of the Circum Pacific War and the man who spearheaded the construction of the space elevator. Okay, got it. Osea's former president, Mr. Harling. Former president. Mr. Harling Interesting. Was inspecting the elevator when the war broke out. So we should He's save him. Classified as missing since the elevator was taken over by the Erujian forces. Probably prisoner. However, according to the latest intel, a military officer accompanying Mr. Harling hid him inside the facility. Okay. Both are waiting for a chance to escape. So we're gonna give him an excuse, a way to get out. Enemy anti-air radar network has been set up around the space elevator. It's likely a large squadron would be detected. So we're gonna send two people. We will send a single aircraft single. through okay. the network. Single. Okay. And send in a rescue team soon after. This sounds like fun. Please tell me it's me. A number of anti-air radars have been set up around the space elevator. However. Our reconnaissance suggests their network is weakest along the southeastern coast of Selatapura. Interesting. Okay. So we can elude the enemy's observation. This sounds like fun. It's a stealth mission. This time of year. Flying through the clouds will enable us to stay hidden <clears throat> from their radar. Okay. If you happen to be detected by their radar, we will be forced to abort the mission. Seems a lot like the stealth bomb mission from from six. The lone pilot will head up this strategy as you, Trigger. Naturally. <laughs> Sounds like fun. After you bust through, secure the rescue craft's landing zone by taking out the anti-air weapons. Gollum and others will arrive shortly for support. So I'm, what I'm hearing is lots of anti-ground. Mr. Harling's craft after rendezvous. Good luck out there, everyone. So 15 anti-grounds. So what I'm thinking is we're going to want the anti-ground specialty weapon. So, okay, so what's this? Now, I think I want the LASM, but what I definitely want, okay, so what do we got here? So we got a break, increases bomb power, increases TLS and PLSL firing distance, but I'm not using either of those. Uh, yaw maneuverability. So we need a better... What we're looking for right now is a good air-to-ground fighter. Do we have one? Not really. Okay, well... We'll go ahead and buy that. I'm not going to be able to buy the uh, you know, the F-15J anytime soon. But we'll go ahead and buy a couple things, see if we can get some unlocks going on. And I still can't unlock whatever this is, right? Yeah, okay. Um, so I guess we'll go ahead and buy the Super Tomcat. I like the Super Tomcat. Chances are we're probably going to be flying it in this mission, too. Um, oh, no, because this actually has surface to or, or air to ground missiles, right? Long range air to ship. Now, that's actually meant for action. Okay, that's not what I want. Yeah, I think this is what we're looking for. So I think we're going to be running with the F-14D. And I want the better yaw. Okay. Um, okay, we have unlocked some options. Ooh, we unlocked the opportunity to get the A-10. Oh, that's going to be awesome. We got one or more new nicknames. <laughs> okay. Do I get to set that somewhere? Okay. Um, so what I'm thinking... Ah, the F... Uh, no, I think we're... Even though... Yeah. Just because I have the guided penetration bomb. Yeah. I mean, I have the guided penetration bomb on this thing. Um... Oh, God, its range is so low. Okay. 
So let's select our parts. Um, okay, so what I need. So that's not going to help me. We're going to go ahead and equip that. Equip that. Okay, that seems good. You know what? I'll equip that too because I have nothing else to equip. I mean, okay. Okay, I... I don't know how I feel about this. Okay, so it's going to be just... This is going to be a stealth mission. Operation Lighthouse Keeper. Okay, why could we not have better air coverage? You know? Okay, here we go. Entering operation area. Imposing radio silence. We'll radio you, but you are not permitted to make contact. Okay, don't respond. Got it. Spotted. The mission is over. Stay out of enemy radar. Okay. Use of weaponry is also strictly forbidden. Got it. Okay. You're heading up the Harling rescue mission. The success of this mission depends on you. Good luck. I'm very glad that we know what their radar range looks like. Hmm. Interesting. If you look at that that map. Entering clouds. I wish we'd gotten that icing defense. Okay, I want to be just a little bit above the above the surface of the ground. Oh my god, are you are you guys Are you guys looking at what I have to deal with. Oh my god, we're just spiraling in. Oh, this is gonna suck. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and just use yaw controls, because there's kind of no reason to use anything else, because our yaw is really good. You guys see that hole right there on the lower left? I mean, they want me to fly all the way around. That's obvious by the way the map is set up. But if you look straight ahead, there's this really small gap. And I can't help but wonder if I could actually get through that. Uh, no. No, oh, there's no getting through that. Okay. Good to know. Like, I don't actually have my hand on the on the uh, joystick at all right now. I'm purely using the throttle, which has... Uh, oh, hello. We got... Oh, crap. We got wind. Okay, never mind. I'm holding on to the, jo I'm holding on to the joystick now. Yeah, you say that now. Whew. Oh, we got high winds going on here. Jesus, look at that. I was wondering how they were going to make this harder. Okay. So we've got kind of a marina below us. Interesting to note. Okay, the wind seems to have slowed down a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up. Oh, I didn't realize there's a time limit on this mission. Okay, I'm mostly looking at my radar. Okay, there we go. We got some open air in front of us. Well, you know what I'm gonna have to do, right? Oh my god, I should not be doing this like this. Look, I'm not gonna lie. It's just gonna be you and your radar out there. Just know, you got a bunch of people pulling for you. And I'm one of them. I'm just, I'm watching that radar. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, this is so... Oh, I cannot believe I actually went for that. Okay. We got through that. Oh god, am I gonna have to do this again? Oh, we're, do we're doing it. We're going for two for two, y'all. Oh my god. Why are they asking if they're under attack? I'm having a little bit of trouble actually looking at that radar because of the glare off of the uh, off the surface of the water there. Bitches, we're in! <laughs> we did it! Light them up for me. Where are my targets? Come on. Oh my god. Whew. Okay, we got this. Let's just get a little bit of range. Nah, you got nothing. You got nothing. That missile's never gonna hit me. Told ya. Whew, look at that missile behind me. Glad to see you, cavalry. Like a badass. Uh, okay. Got it. Okay, I'm going with just pure missiles then, because this is it's gonna take too long trying to use those guided penetration bombs. The enemy has a lock on you, H2. I'm aware. Not yet. Mission still in progress. Stand by. Half of the SAM sites are down. Half of the anti-air guns down. Good. I like the sound of that. I'm working on it. Three more. Gonna pull a G turn. Okay. And done. Yeah! Check that shit out. We did it, y'all. Let's pull around and take a look at them landing. Naturally. It's time to go help out. Oh, good. Send in a helicopter. A really slow helicopter. Okay, we're gonna have to go. Oh crap! Can do. Oh my God! Look at this. Okay, this is my first target. Got one. Okay, so I think we're gonna hit hit the container boxes first. This way we can uh, not have to worry about additional targets showing up. How did that not work? Come on. Thank you.
Please don't die, guys. Not while I'm clearing your airspace. Where is this one? You are not getting anywhere, dude. God, I wish I had afterburners. Good, got it. Sea Goblin, all survivors, respond. Is Mr. Harling alive? Shit. That's about half. Mop up the rest. Are we good? Uh, I don't like the sound of thermobaric. No, they're not. Damn, they're having a lot of trouble down there. Okay, got that guy. I don't see three, I see two. You guys alive? Okay. No more that, which means no more bastards showing up. Can you get out? Can you fly it? And I think we should be good. that not hit are we good I mean I'm just gonna keep on firing until I hear that we are out are you kidding me okay I need to go join up Ah, don't tell me this. Crap. I don't want to hear that. Not a big fan of this. Okay, well, apparently we're about to have some fun. I don't like what I'm hearing. Got one. Come on. On my way. What? Why didn't you light them up as targets? Like, that would be the thing to do, would be to light them up as targets and say, hey, these are the ones you should be looking at. Okay. We're going to just kind of hang out here. Is it flying it? No, it's right there. Okay, cool. Okay. Mage, protect Mother Goose One. Shoot down any UAVs. Gollum, intercept the UAVs. Gollum One will kill. That last battle taught me a lot about those a holes. Gollum Two, don't stray off on me. Always maintain element. Vuko, forming up. Mage Two, walking. Rock acquired. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of hook around, get rid of this one. Is 
this is the one I want. Where the hell is this thing? Woo! Probably painted the hell out of that guy. Like, I don't think... Okay, got it. Uh, there's another one. I don't see it. I want this one. Okay, Mother Goose 1 seems to be fine. Yes. Uh... I don't like the look of that. Oh, wait, no, that's ours. Okay. I like this. This is good. Let's see more of this. Why did you shoot the space elevator? So are we trying to blow that up? Shit! Shit, is he dead? Why do we keep on losing people? Like the sound of this. Okay, need to be over here. I want this thing. I want this one. What is he doing? Working on it. Mother Goose One, turn 180 degrees and exit combat airspace. I don't think Mother Goose One is listening. Mr. Harlan, are you piloting that plane? Arsenal Bird Liberty, passing waypoint two. Ah, that is a really not good thing to hear. I don't like the sound of this. Mage, destroy those UAVs and keep Mother Goose One safe. Working on it. Mage two, clear out the bogies near Mother Goose One. Hey, working on it. This takes a minute. There's kind of a lot of them. Protect Mother Goose One. Destroy those UAVs. Time. We're out of time. All units abort the operation. What? what? Also, that looks bad. Okay, apparently we're going to be restarting this mission from the beginning just because of how... I, I guess I didn't go fast enough from the start. So I'm going to stop here, and when I come back next time, we're starting from the beginning. I'll see you soon.